Welcome to Harley's Kitchen, 10 second meals. Just put it in a plate and eat it. This is my TV dinner tonight. Some local tomatoes and greens off a friend's organic farm. Too easy for spending more than 10 seconds on food prep. You're trying too hard, you're eating complex, you're compromising digestive energy. When it comes to big meals, I'm eating a mono meal of fruit, like say 20 bananas or you know, 15 oranges or, or whatever I need to get the job done for the day, depending on how many miles my bike I'm riding or whatever. You know, adjust your fuel intake according to your needs. Don't eat too much, don't eat too little, eat enough. Work it out, you'll, you'll be alright. So people ask me, Harley, would you go back to cooked food? And I'm like, why would I go back to cooked food? Go back to feeling crap, go back to feeling disconnected with mother nature, go back to, you know, the apathy, the, the chronic fatigue, the colitis, going back to getting have me having acne and all the associated things that I had before, go back to needing caffeine to ride my bicycle to the coffee shop so I could function and talk to people because I was in such a fog, you know, go back to needing digestive enzymes or digestive aids to digest food that is indigestible <laughs> can't work that one out go back to supporting industries that are against my personal integrity go back to ripping out rainforest in Indonesia, Sumatra, Malaysia and Thailand and Borneo and South America so I can eat my palm oil eat my french fries eat my cooked crap that's destroying me, the animals and the planet, that's destroying the, the ha habitat for my animal friends. I call myself a vegan. Vegan ain't ripping out forests to grow rice, man. Vegans planting trees to grow fruit. So we, we get fed and the animals have a habitat. That's what I call a win-win situation. So would I go back to cooked foods? Like never, man.